You can search for archival descriptions using the main search box within the header bar. As you type into the search box, the system will begin presenting results with matching titles just below. These results are clickable links. If you do not immediately see a desired description in these preliminary results or wish to see more, hit Enter or Return on your keyboard. Note that the Browse button here will not submit a search, it merely shows the Browse menu. The Search Results screen is very similar to the Browse screen we saw earlier. The same filters we saw when browsing archival descriptions are available when searching. There are two key differences. First, search results are not by default limited to top-level descriptions, although you may select this if you wish. Second, results are ordered from most to least relevant, instead of alphabetically or by modification date. Advanced Search provides a more nuanced interface for discovering archival descriptions. First, a number of filters are available at left. These are pre-selection filters, unlike the narrowing filters we see after searching or browsing. These are not based on a given search, they're simply lists of all possible options for each facet. Let's go through them. Repository allows us to choose to see only archival descriptions belonging to a given archival institution. We'll talk about the top-level descriptions filter last. General material designation should refer to the type or types of materials described within an archival description. However, as this is an optional field and not many descriptions make use of it, filtering by general material designation may not be fruitful. As seen in previous search and browse videos, media type refers to the type of any digital objects associated with an archival descriptions. Digital Object Available allows you to choose archival descriptions which do or do not have digital objects associated. This is the only way to actively filter out digital objects from search results, should you care to. Level of Description allows filtering based on level of description. Top Level Descriptions allows us to choose a top level archival description to search within. This dialog is a read-ahead search box. To select a top-level description to search within, start typing the title or identifier of the description you want and ultimately click on the description when you see it. The second, more interesting function of advanced search is the ability to search for terms within some of the more commonly used fields in the system, including title, scope and content, extent and medium, subject, name and place access points, identifier, and reference code. Identifier and reference code are essentially the same in MemoryNS. Extent and medium is essentially a byword for the physical description field within archival descriptions. For instance, if we search for the word Breton in any field, there are many hundreds of results. Searching only within the title field results in significantly fewer. In addition to targeting queries against specific fields within archival descriptions, Advanced Search also provides a simple way to construct multifaceted queries called Boolean Search. In our current query, we might wish to limit results even further to those containing the word correspondence somewhere. Now we have fewer than 10 results to consider.